Hello people, this is Eric Cobra and this is Let's Play Shovel Knight Blind. A lot of your requests are to actually see this level. Up here. Fair enough, far be it for me to deny such an easy to grant request. So, I'll make this very simple. If you're only interested in seeing the blind part of this, the part where I don't know what I'm doing, skip this video. I'll just make all five points in one video. Should be easy enough. Go. Ah. Yeah, that happened last time too. You'd think I would avoid such embarrassing deaths. Now that I'm actually, you know, well aware of how the level works. But no. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting that. Sorry to say. So yeah, we'll be attacked by these automatic horses. And the good old castle pot of goods fall everywhere. Fishing spot. And there's the helicopter rats. I have no idea why they're here, but they are. Oh yeah, these jester guys. Ow. Ooh, that was close. I keep forgetting that I have to expose stuff. So the beetle insignia basically means dig here to expose stuff. Huh. I hit something, but I don't know what. Right, so these guys... I figured I was a defeat that was pretty quick. Or similar enemies back in the original Crash Bandicoot. Although they were more, you know, native and this medieval knight. Moving on. Alright, oh, the chandeliers. They'll fall and hurt you. But you can't jump on them. For bonuses. Oh yeah, this is kinda crazy. Now see this? You have to stand exactly correct. If you do, voila! Well, no, but you're not supposed to do that. No, that's just pathetic. Who'd do that? An idiot, that's who. There we go. 
good. So yeah, this is where I got a... Uh, was this here? I got the flame one, or was that the... Oh, I can't remember. It isn't important. I got stuff from him and bought it. Crap! Damn it! There! At least I could recover. This is embarrassing. Here's a level I've beaten the master! Oh look, I'm failing everywhere! Dirty trick that like putting him in such a narrow corridor. No way to avoid. You just have to rush over and kill him quickly. James had to find these. Can't remember if I found that last time. Anyway, that's one of the griffins. Just look how look how snooty he looks. Look how he attacks with his paw. It's just so disdainful. Like, oh, I'm so much better than you because I'm a half lion, a half evil and shit. Yeah, well, you get a shove into the face. Let's look how superior you are now. This one's kind of tricky to get. I only got it by accident the first time. Basically, it was just like, oh yes, this chain attack, now that I found it, it was just like... Oh, that's right, that's over there. And then it was just like, oh hey, I'm getting up here, there must be a secret. And no, he's not shooting the wrong way. There's a wall right behind the, pit, the uh, tapestry. So you can't get up behind him if that's what you want to try. See? Oh, hey! Yeah, you're spawn. Whoa! Oh, goes. Chain attack for the win! And bye bye! Hmm. Alright, so one should probably try to get in there first. Go. 
Oh, yes, here's the spell book gimmick I mentioned. Oh, I remember the coming room. I screwed up a couple of times, I'll just be honest. It's reset every time I hit the bug, so... Whoop! There we go. Aha! Aha! Right, if I remember correctly, we should almost be at the dude's throne room. Just have to deal with this snooty bird here. That. Stop looking like you're so fucking important. <clears throat> An interloper is in our midst. Be gone from a throne room name. I'm no more an intruder than you. You aren't even a real king. Oh, but you're mistaken. The enchantress sold me for my fabulously regal self, and now all bow before me. You're not but a decadent dandy. Prepare to taste justice. And shovel. Shovel justice. Silence! Here comes the confetti! Basically, just keep hounding him. Don't let him give any chance to get away, and you should be able to do it quite easily. 